forgive me for the first maybe 15 minutes of having this rundown. Another interesting literature, this is not written by Adam, it's, it's an evangelical. Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's written by, or should I say, uh, published by Erdogan's. Foundations and issues in Christian education is one good read. Of course, you might say, Pastor, I'm not uh, in the education. Okay, let's skip this one. Why not be here for this? But there's an important reading for Adventist teachers. This is a book written by George Knight. And uh, one of my favorite authors is George Knight. Some of my students uh, would say, I would try to find information in most of uh, my writers of something coming from the world's life. Make it true, but I find him uh, a compelling Adventist writer. Maybe next to Ellen White, the most prolific Adventist writer next to Ellen White. George Knight. This book, Philosophy and Education, is not only a textbook within Adventist seminaries, institution, but even in that academic schools or institutions of higher learning. It's a good book. The other sequel to this, which is, it's like a bridge of that bigger book, of this bigger book, is written by still George Knight, Issues and Alternatives in Educational Philosophy. Not much of a science, but it frames our thought patterns on how we would really think as Adventist educators. I, you know, we cannot really exhaust IFM in one or two or three seatings with around one hour each. It might be even beyond a semester course. But if there is one thing that we must have in recent Adventist publications, is the closest Bible to Adventist education. Okay? This book is educating for eternity. If you're serious and you'll stay here in AUP for quite some time in the teaching profession, I'd like to commend to you this book. We can talk later if you want to have a book this book. I'm not a canvasser, uh, but drop me an email. As long as you will not sell it, I'll give it to you. It's a good book. It's a good book that has shaped. I hope that this book was written much earlier. But praise the Lord that this book has been written recently in order to shape Adventist thinkers, educators, on how to think of what is really Adventist education. Now let me go to some of the readings that I said. Since this is the College of Science and Technology, a book that first intrigued me in my course of learning things and it's uh, amongst the books that are in my boxes is this one, Origin by Design. It's not uh, that scientific, but it's a good read. It needs some revision, yes, but it's a good read. Why I think this? It presents to you that activist thinking education is from a creationist perspective, from an intelligent design. Well, this book, Origins, 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 Origins by Design, was first introduced to me in my early years here in BC or AAP by Dr. Lama. And this is how it looks like before. And it was our textbook with Dr. Bulan. Years have passed, we started teaching also uh, science 
religion and using the newer version. But maybe you would be on biology. On biology versus Saturday Adventist book published by Adventist University. It's a good book. It's a book on biology coming from the Saturday Adventist standpoint and perspective. It's good for students. It's good for teachers. A sequel to this on math is being produced. The literature edition is published already. The sequel to this, which is on history, is already produced, written by an anonymous scholar, historian by the name of Gary Land, is also produced. The math, I'm waiting for the math. So I like reading series of books, uh, Pastor Ray uh, this, this is one good read. 